We have come to yet another debate here in the coastal region, and in today's motion, the motion reads, the Kenyan media is overstepping their role in covering sensitive issues in society. I read the motion again. The Kenyan media is overstepping their role in covering sensitive issues in the society. Proposing and opposing this motion is Malindi High School versus Kijewetanga Secondary School. All the best to both teams. Team proposition, first speaker, you have three minutes. Hello, everyone. My name is John Sriga from Malindi High School, and I hereby stand forth in front of you all to strictly support the motion that states that the Kenyan media is overstepping their role in covering sensitive issues in the society. Media. People ask themselves, what is media? What does media entail? Media refers to communication channels through which we disseminate news and all sorts of information, including entertainment. It is said that no news is good news. The essence of the saying is to show the overemphasis of <clears throat> the sh to show the overemphasis on bad news in our society and especially by the media. News to do with death, crime, violence, murder, and other sorts of inconveniences are overemphasized by the media, as opposed to anything positive such as progress, innovation, etc. We, the proposers, believe that the media is making an error because the the focus on the negative news fuels the crimes that they highlight, leading to more crime and riots in the country. Let me talk about the Mandamano, the demonstration that is currently taking place in the nation. When people seated in their homes, they use their phones, all sort of screens, I mean phones and uh, televisions, not only phones, but people do read magazines. I know that in the olden days, this was the only form that people used to get information in the government and everything that is going on in the country. Now, when people see violence and vandalism in the media, this incites them to joining the other demonstrators and this leads to more damage and vandalization. Giving an, an example, a valid one. If tires are being burnt in Nairobi, we will be not surprised if we wake up the following morning and uh, we get to learn that in Mombasa, there are also, being, there are also tires being burnt along the city, I mean the city roads. So I find uh, the media kind of responsible for everything that is actually happening in the na happening in the nation, including the incitements, the, provo the provocations between leaders, and all the other sorts of issues. So, on to my second argumentative. The media exposes leaders who insult each other in real sense. We have mass audience all over, and the children are included. So my question is, what are we teaching our children? Are there any morals that they look up to from us? Winding up is, uh, I'll say that we as the opposers is our strong opinion that the media must be censored for the safety of all. Thank you. First speaker, team opposition, you have three minutes. Whatever is done in the darkness will be revealed into the light. I'm opposing the motion which states, Kenya media is overstepping their role in covering sensitive issues in the society, media. It is the main means of mass communication, overstepping, passing beyond or exceeding the, or exceeding the required limit. Types of media, web media, news media, social media, and print media. Kiwanza Rosemary from Kijetanga Secondary School. Let's dive into my first point. Um, the Kenyan media was formed in the Article 39 in the Constitu Constitution of Kenya. The CS of Health, Nakumicha, helped by the media of by different media houses in Kenya, had to expose social 
social leaders or politicians who are, who are caught up in the scenario where they were holding up money, hel money that was to help the needy or sick. And to my second point, exposure of regional, religion, religional cults. The Shakahola massacre. It was exposed by the by different media houses. Okay. The media is mandated to cover and to cover different types of information. The CS, the CS in Tijia Kindiki denied this de denied the media houses chance a chance to enter into the field. So why is it that the media is not given their chance to broadcast whatever they cover? Iris, my case. Second speaker, team proposition, you have three minutes. Whatever is done in the darkness will be revealed by the light. But I see that we've been taken out of the light back to the darkness. Nixon Baraka, Malindi High School. Now, let me talk about the Shakahola massacre. It's true we're capturing. It's true the media is trying its best to making sure that we get the information that we're supposed to get from Shakahola. But it's being too much, and we say too much of something is poisonous, right? So this Shakahola massacre being captured brings about depression among the Kenyans. A case whereby we have many people dying. We have many people losing their lives. It brings about a sense that uh, these people won't believe again, won't believe in their religion, more so the Christians. And this brought suffering to most religious leaders, and it is because of the media. Because when I log into my Facebook account and see news about Shakahola Masaka, Shakahola Masaka, and I'll just give up on religion, right? That is it. Wakisi, Wakisi, Wakisi. This has been trending. Meme lords and the memes on what's up. Now, Wakisi have been suffering because there have been very many incitements about Wakisi. And it's actually a pity to them because it's, this, it's still the media. I know it's entertainment, it's entertainment part of it, but we're doing it too much. We are overdoing this entertainment. Entertainment does not mean that you should provoke and team proposition third speaker you have three minutes For you to make people laugh or make people enjoy We disintegrate we are disintegrating people in such a case and therefore media is doing more than expected Thank you Second speaker, Tim Opposition, you have three minutes. As we all know that the role of media it is to bring light to something that is in the darkness. So where could we have known about the abduction of the demonstrators? Before you is Lois from Kijotanga Secondary School opposing the motion by saying the Kenya media is overstepping their role in covering sensitive issues on the society. So I'm here to prove that, or I'm here to oppose this motion. We had a case whereby a nation media group car was vandalized and also a journalist injured when they tried to cover the, dem the demonstration in Nairobi. So we get this information through, through uh, media. So to my fellow parliamentarian. Why are you just complaining that media has led to bad, or has led to bad um, behaviors in the society? And as you can see here, the role of media is just to 
bring light to something that it is in the darkness. And to my second point, online jobs. People can get online jobs through media. Let me have a just example on it. Like what they have mentioned, it is an innovation. It is, in, it is an innovation in 2023 by a Kenyan university student by the name Peji. Peji came up with a way for weight loss in a way that did not hinder you from whatever you are eating. Just in a week's time, the, bro the products, black latte, has its property, which is really works. So let's go on. Already Peji, he sells this product online. So first, he will, he had she had created a self-employment and also employment for others. So all these things is only through uh, media. And if you're just complaining that media is bringing a problem to the society, I agree, I'm not agreeing with you. Thank you. Team proposition, third speaker, you have three minutes. Hello, everyone. My name is Emmanuel Likavo from the Great Smolindi High School. And I'm here to super plagiaristically and exploitationally support the motion that states the Kenyan media is overstepping the role in covering sensitive issues in the society. Now, I would like to set the ball rolling by reiterating the fact that no good news is news. But first, I would like to answer the questions raised. Uh, you asked about if it were not for the media, how could you have known the cases in Shakahola? We are not actually uh, we are not actually rejecting the media in its role in recording events in instances like uh, the Shakahola uh, instance, but we are actually condemning the fact that the, the media platforms are using this advantage to actually criticize and going towards the sensitive issues that are affecting the society, but in a very negative way, because I'm trying to imagine a scenario whereby the religious leaders are actually thinking about how they're going to rule the churches, and the event that was shown by the media is actually demoralizing, demoralizing people that were actually believing in their God. So you see, the religious leaders are actually affected because now they'll go to church and people are saying like, uh, if people are dying and the religious leaders are the ones that are killing them, so how can we really believe in this religion? You see how it affects the society now. And the Waki C issue, it was condemning the fact that people are using media to actually condemn the Wakisi. So if you're claiming you're the Mkisi, then you should be thanking us because you're condemning the fact that people are actually demoralizing the name of the Wakisis. So what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, is that showing Kenyans demonstrations ongoing will automatically incite more and more chaos and uh, triads in the country. Kwani, macho hayana pazia. I'm sure the wise sayings were not wrong. This is actually evidence even in today's ongoing maandamano. I mean, let us not close our eyes as Kenyans, despite of everything that is taking place in the country today. Now, licensed bloggers, famously known as haters on the social media, impose false information on social media platforms. And this leads people in believing biased information in the various media platforms. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I suppose that the government should come up with rules and regulations that will limit the media houses on the extent of capturing issues in the society for the benefits of Kenyans. For we are not actually saying that they don't help us, but the extent at which they record events are supposed to be limited. Thank you. I rest my case. Team opposition, third speaker, you have three minutes. Yes, on answering the question that has been asked, 
I mean, social media is social media. Even the marchers, they use internet. And it is free. Why don't us look the negative parts of it? Just post them in online. And it is also right. Before you is Abina Changawa from Kijiwetanga Second School, total opposing the motion, which says that Kenya media is overstepping their role in covering sensitive issues in the society. To my first point, the media helps the innovators to get findings. A good example is John Magiro, who has been helped by the Net Fund to start the Magiro Hydroelectric Company. So it is only through the media that he got the help and continue with his company. Another is, how will, how will us, I'm sorry, did you know that through the media is how we are able to know exactly what is going in this place? Yes, this place, the Swahili Port Hub, which is a place of innovation that has led to employment. 10 job vacancies has been added in, in this year. I'm sorry, 10 job vacancies has been added this month of July. And that is a sensitive, sensitive issue. To my third point, the media has helped to follow up on Mandamano. This is a sensitive issue because of the danger on the streets, which has led to the closing of the shops. Without it, without it, all of us, we will be in danger. So it is only the social media and their knowledge that has helped us to escape that danger. And for those few remarks, allow me to have my seat. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be taking closing remarks from both teams. Team proposition, you have one minute to give your closing remark. Yeah, this is our anthem. amani So where is the peace? Where is the liberty? If this social media is going to disintegrate us in our own nation. If you're going to expose videos or news that are going to mislead our Kenyans, news that are going to mislead most of the people, news that are going to mislead tribes so that tribes can fight against each other, will we find peace? Will we find liberty? So for all this that we're talking about here, it's, because it's uh, for the safety of our Kenyans, for the safety of our people. I am supercalifragilistic prodigious and this is what I conclude with. Thank you. Team Opposition, you have one minute to give your closing remark. Isn't it hot inside here? Sorry for the tension. So, I'm not a content creator, I don't mean to make you laugh, but um, I mean, we should fact the facts. Social media is all around. There are people from the media, so, yeah. Okay, so the motion we had was the Kenyan media is overstepping their role in covering sensitive issues in the society. We've seen what the proposers had as well as what the opposers had, and I think my opinion is the same as the one we've just had from the audience. I feel like the girls didn't really have enough time to do the research. The guys, on the other hand, you tried, but it still wasn't giving. So as for Jones, <coughs> I could say that apart from Mandamano and Chakahola, are those the only things that are happening in Kenya? And who say that the examples you're giving should only be from the, like from 2023? We have other things that have been happening before this Shakahola and the Mandamano stuff. So you can give other examples apart from that. And then Nixon, I, I would also like to ask, 
what you meant by wakisi, wakisi, wakisi. What have wakisis done? That is what I got, wakisi, wakisi, wakisi. Apart from that, I didn't get anything from that point. And then you didn't utilize your time well. And then for Emmanuel, uh, I have a couple of positive things I would say about you. You have a good mastery of what you were doing and you gave real life situations. And then you really had a good co coherence in your argument and you, you seem like a very passionate person in whatever you are doing, so I'll give you that. To Kijiwetanga, first we had Rosemary. You also left stage before your time was up. And yes, I know it's hard to be on stage and you, can, you could probably work on that, on your confidence. I know it's not easy, but there's always a first time for everything. And then Lois, uh, your presentation style was wanting. You gave points, but they were not well explained. You were just giving us points, but the examples weren't there. And then you also lacked nonverbal cues, I would say. And then for Amina, you said, in one of your, your points, you say that there are jobs that have been offered and there are 10,000. So I want you to know, which jobs are this? Which jobs are you referring to? Don't assume we know, so you have to explain whatever you say. All the best to the two teams as we wait to see who the winner is. All right, I think much has been said, but I want to appreciate the two teams for making it to the stage and just the boldness. And of course, to appreciate Jones. Jones, is that you? Yeah, I think uh, it was the first speaker on the ladies' side, sorry. I think uh, let's appreciate Rosemary. A round of applause to Rosemary. Um, we could tell We could tell at the beginning you, you were worried what's happening because many eyes were looking at you. But don't worry, it's, there's always a first time. And next time will be way better. However, to both teams who are bold speakers, there's a lot of work to be done when you look at the motion. In terms of examples and everything else, please note this. This motion started by saying Kenyan media. That means in your references, you're going to compare anything else to the Kenyan media. And if you have examples of showing that they, ha they are doing well, then you want to show in comparison to any other media houses outside of Kenya, all right? So we felt there was a lack of that. So in terms of research, you needed to broaden that because what else were you to compare that with? That's what I asked all of you, Kenyan media compared to who? And then of course, one more thing to the proposition, look for examples of ethical boundaries around media, all right? When we're saying that the Kenyan media is overstepping what are some of those boundaries, Malindi High School, that they have crossed, okay? We have seen sometimes when there is bad events that happen in other countries, you can't even see anybody, you can't even see blood or anything. But here we are very good at it sometimes, all right? And sometimes we cross those boundaries, not just when uh, we have bloodshed or anything of that sort. So, but we, you needed to look at the ethical standards of media and then try to say they have crossed this path. To the other team, the girls, look for examples that the media has exposed on sensitive issues that have brought justice and enlightenment. And we can celebrate that, all right? So, like I can give an example. One of you just mentioned that, oh, the CS of health was helped by the media to expose. I don't think that's true. So you wanted to have validated examples every time you're speaking, all right? Because when something happens and the media is called, it's not necessarily the media that exposed that. So give examples where the media is the one that did that. And we have a lot of exposés that have come out, investigative journalism in this country. So there could have been more in terms of research, but all the best to the two teams. I will move straight to the results. And the judges have awarded Kijiwetanga Secondary School with 57%. A round of applause, please. And the judges have awarded 
Malindi High School with 60.5%. A round of applause, please, for Malindi High School and the winners of this debate are Malindi High School. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this debate. And until next time, it is goodbye from us here at the Debate Circle. Remember to check our social media handles for more of this content on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, on TikTok, and on LinkedIn at the Debate Circle. And until next time, it is goodbye from us. <laughs>